welcome again folks this one is a little tricky we're talking about a few minutes not hours not no days but a few minutes before expiration and we're trying to be cautious on expiration so it's it's a little weird however there are ways where you can profit <clears throat> and have a um safer play and try to m maximize profit with low with low risk so this was today um today's spy chart if you look at what happened at the gate um trust me on this this was the previous high 437.84 we're only six pennies away if you look at this here uh sorry eight pennies away from the previous high so basically it's a double top and from there it's a slow drop all the way down to when j Powell was actually started his um testimonial at 12 o'clock and it started climbing right right after that i mean we're not talking about a market that is cautious it smells a little more like fear about what's going to happen i mean this is a three dollar drop from the open up until where he starts talking and when it starts climbing it goes up to you know 436.5 ish which is what yesterday was um around this area let me show you exactly where it is you know around this area it's pretty much this area so we're not to me it doesn't show any conviction and then it turns down on this it doesn't come back down i mean if it was if it had been very bearish um it would have at least go there and then start exactly what it what it, it was doing here so it didn't do that however um it was not extremely bullish let me get out of here for a second it wasn't too bullish either because what happened was there was a drop and then stagnant and this is where i shared with you guys that i was trying to enter um i was looking to enter spy puts because it, to me there was no conviction and this fake up is pretty much in line with this bounce so basically this is a small support that is now acting as resistance and this is very close to where i'm coming from 437 very very close to 437 and this is where it started turning here and i decided to go 437 puts um it was at the time um when i alerted it it was 41 cents basically it's already in the money and in order for it at expiration to be green it needs to be you will agree with me 436.59 that will give us a value of 41 cents if you don't understand this you have to understand the value of the premium what it's based on now basically it's 437 minus 041 gets 437 436.59 so 436.59 at expiration will give us a break even however i was expecting more than 436.59 because 436.59 at the time where we entered was VWAP. VWAP is a magnet for SPY. Um, try it to see it for yourself, but I often look at it as if it, when we trade close to it, it becomes a magnet. So if we get underneath or above it, it's either coming support or resistance. But in this particular case, I was looking for 436 was my target 436 target why i mean we're looking at um i can't move it there but you know here previous day uh there was support well it's right here this is 436 um jump and it's older also here very close to it 
So basically, I'm looking at this line. I was expecting the whole thing to come down to 436. So basically, 436 target. At expiration, what this would be worth, if, you, if you're holding 437 puts, it would be worth a full dollar. Full dollar from 41 cents is more than respectable for a play. So basically, I'm looking at a safe play with very little time left until expiration. You have to be quick. Obviously, you can't sleep on this and wait until your expiration because it might turn around or it might try to shake you out of it, which is exactly what happened. So taking the 437, we came down to VWAP. I believe it was 0 0.58 when we sold. So 0 0.41 to 0 0.58 was a good um, profit for very little time because this was the time that we played it. Now, I couldn't alert what I'm going to show you because it happened too quickly. But here is the other play that I want to show you where it becomes, I'm not talking about safe because this is very close to expiration. However, there was another spike. We're still very close to that, pennies away, but still I was not going to be bullish on the day because we did not reclaim the whole thing and we did not forget about all this fear that we had here. I'm not talking about cautiousness. I'm talking about fear. We did not, you know, uh, go something like, go something like, sorry, like this. No, we had fear and then this is cautiousness. I was expecting the whole thing to come down to at least this here, 436, for um, the end of the day. So what happened when we punched through that 437, look, 438 put. I'm talking same day expiration here. Trust me on that. They were $1.02 right there. Now, in order to be... I mean, you don't have to put your whole your whole account in this, but in order to be very um, efficient and uh, try to have some risk management, 438 puts when it's at 437. I mean, even back to here, you're still you still have some some value into it. So remember that the delta will move this close to expiration almost one to one so one cent drop will provide you one cent higher on your premium so this if it drops one cent it will go to 103 and if it drops another cent it will go to 104 so the idea in this particular case it was 102 my target was 436 what is it going to be going to be two dollars higher than this so basically at 436 it becomes two dollars at expiration right so safely taking 438 it's in the money it has a value and basically as soon as it starts dropping it's one to one it goes very quickly we had one candle, this is on the five minute, but right away it took one candle, I'm going to delete this. It had one big candle and another one right after, right? So as soon as we got there, I was like, okay, let's go 438. I couldn't type it in. And then for two candles, we were already down to, um, to 436.20. So basically, at that point, they were worth $1.80. Quickly... I know this is expensive for this much time left, which is zero time left. You know, it's only an hour before expiration, but you have remaining value. And if it starts going the wrong way, like it takes this and then it starts doing that, at least you can sell right away. 
but when it goes into your direction quickly it goes 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent you can sell right away you don't have to wait until what you believe is going to happen because you saw that this bottom was bought and it hit 46 uh, 436 01 or 2 very close to that 436 and then it in one tiny little candle see this is what it closed at so it jumped right away so what you need is to be able to book that profit but what i'm showing you with this is you're in the money already in the money it can be deeper but the idea is to be in the money and right away as soon as it starts moving your delta is one to one this was a dollar so as soon as it starts dropping 10 cents you're up 10 percent this is just another tool that i'm trying to show you when you're actually scalping with very little time left and where to put your stop is as soon as it doesn't go your way you say okay I'm bailing out of this but still you have a remaining value because you're already in the money if you were not in the money let's say you go um, 436 put right well 436 put the chances of going to 436 in one hour you have a chance however if you start going sideways like this here basically the premium is not dropping uh, is not moving your way so it's continually continuously dropping even if it's slowly bleeding down so that's a dangerous play to play when you're out of the money with so much so little time left before expiration so i'm saying recap the whole this the whole thing when you believe there's a top and you want to play the top close to an expiration go in the money that delta is going to be very um are very good regarding payment and very good regarding risk management i mean we're talking still talking about a risky play here because we only have an hour left but in the money from the top and no to exit if it breaks your top breaks your entry knowing that you're actually uh it starts to be bullish now the same thing can be done in in a reverse way if this was closer to expiration you can be saying that let's say this is closer to expiration we can say 435 it's already in the money 435 calls that delta going to 436 is going to be one to one and one to one from here to there close to expiration can be a hundred percent play where it's much safer than going out of the money with a more of a lot loto ticket than anything else so i i hope this is enough to understand and clear well clear enough to understand and i'll see you again guys in a few